So I had every intention of doing a long form video on orange wines and I recorded one and it was okay, but I only realized afterward that my microphone wasn't plugged in. <laughs> uh, and after much cursing and complaining and the type of whining I try and avoid, um, I realized that I didn't really have much to say that was good um, about the wines that I had sampled. If you can't say something nice, Don't say nothing at all. Um, so instead, I'm going to give you a general breakdown of my experience with orange wine. So I tried three wines, uh, an Italian, Australian, and Spanish uh, orange wines. Um, the Italian was the best of the three, um, but really it was the best of the worst. Um, I'm clearly not a fan. Um, and anyone who actually likes the taste of typical whites and reds um, may find it hard to enjoy these rather unimpressive wines. Orange wine is created by leaving the skins in the juice during the fermentation process. Um, that's why you end up with the orange color. Normally you end up with like that golden or yellow coloring because that's, that's the juice. Um, and so it's filtered, you know, they filter it out on these sediments. Um, in orange wine, they've kind of left everything done in a more natural way. It's one of the oldest ways of making wine. Um, no filtering, so you end up with this cloudy orange wine. Um, in all honesty, I'd never tried one of these wines before, but I'd heard a few things um, and was curious to see what it was all about. So either I tried three very bad examples of orange wine, not bloody likely, or orange wine just isn't for me. Um, one of them, literally, I had a hard time distinguishing it as being wine. It tasted like strong water. Um, and that's, you know, it was a 9% alcohol. There was literally no distinguishing flavors to talk about. Um, so it just really felt like it was a nothing wine, uh, nothing interesting to it at all. Um, the best of them had some really nice aroma, um, and a bit of an interesting flavor. Very interesting. And when I say interesting, maybe it just seemed that way versus the others. But really, they all just left me wanting more. Um, they all felt like a half-finished wine. Um, and that just wasn't enjoyable. To top it off, none of these was less than $18. Um, and one of them was even 26 it's hard to recommend something like this to anyone, really, unless you're looking to have a unique conversation piece uh, at your summer picnic. Somebody might like it. Um, nine times out of ten, I have a feeling people are going to be like, meh, like, let me have my Sauvignon Blanc, let me have my Riesling. Um, just something with a little bit of flavor. I felt like none of these had anything in the way of any kind of flavor. As a wine fool level two, I can at least say that I've checked this off of my list um, and that I never have to try it again. Um, for anyone else, there are better wines out there uh, to be adventurous with. So an unintentionally quicker video this week. Um, I hope you find it helpful um, and maybe it will help you avoid uh, some disappointment. Um, this is all part of the learning process. This is why we go out and drink something a little bit different. We grab that bottle that we have no idea about. I really, I hadn't done any research. Uh, maybe I should have. <laughs> um, you know, drink, learn, repeat. Um, you know, until next time, uh, stay foolish and cheers to drinking better wine.